The Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, or IDEA, originated in 1975 when Congress started acknowledging that students with disabilities had unmet educational needs. They passed the Education for All Handicapped Children Act, which then became IDEA in 1990. Under IDEA, states are provided federal funding to be used towards the availability of education for students with disabilities. This act also requires that all students with disabilities receive a free, appropriate public education. The act has undergone several changes, the most recent being in 2004. The provisions that were made in 2004 pertain to identifying students with disabilities, developing and implementing the individualized education program, and planning the high school to college transition. All rise, the Honorable Judge Chang presiding. Calling the case of Doug C. versus the Hawaii Department of Education. Doug C. will be speaking individually and on behalf of his son, Spencer C. Spencer is an 18-year-old student in the Maui District of the Hawaii Department of Education. He was diagnosed with autism at age 2. As a result of his condition, Spencer's educational rights are protected by the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act, also known as IDEA, here on known as IDEA. Spencer has always attended a private school education facility and was placed in the public school system per his most recent IEP meeting where his parent, Doug C., was not in attendance. The prosecution calls Doug C. to the stand. Mr. Doug, do you feel like the department made a sufficient effort to include you in Spencer's IEP meeting? No, I do not feel that they made a sufficient effort. Our first date was tentative. It was never finalized. Although I realized my schedule had been difficult to work around, they felt that their annual IEP deadline was more important than working around my schedule to make sure that a parent could be involved in the IEP creation. Doug, although you couldn't be physically present, the department feels that they were making provisions in Spencer's best interest. They also made an effort to include you in the IEP meeting to make you aware of the changes. Do you agree that the department was working in Spencer's best interest? No, they were not working in Spencer's best interest. Not only was I not included in the meeting, but neither was the representative from Spencer's current private school. They made the decision to put Spencer in a public school with no input from me, the parent. This decision directly affects Spencer because he has been at the same school for the last six years. By changing his school, there are indirect consequences impacting his family, the routine of his home life, and peer interactions. Catherine. Since one of the pillars of IDEA is parental inclusion in IEP creation, do you honestly feel like meeting your annual IEP deadline, which is also set by IDEA, was more important than Doug C. being present in the IEP meeting? Uh, no comment? Parental participation in the IEP and educational placement process is critical to the organization of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. The core of IDEA is the cooperative process that it establishes between parents and schools. The Hawaii Department of Education ceased cooperative efforts in getting Doug C. to attend the meeting when their own schedules and deadlines became more important than having a parent present for Spencer's IEP meeting. These procedural violations undermine the very essence of IDEA. Furthermore, Doug C. did not refuse to attend the meeting, nor was he unable to be convinced to attend. He made every effort to reschedule the meeting even after falling ill, by vigorously and repeatedly objecting to the department having the meeting without him. Even worse, the department made no effort to offer any other methods in which Doug C. could be included, such as teleconferencing. Despite his attempts to reschedule, the department went forward with the IEP meeting without him and decided to change Spencer's educational placement for the first time in six years. I think it is very clear where the priorities of the department were in this situation. Well, Doug's schedule was really busy to work around and it was essential for my defendant to meet the IEP deadline. The verdict is in for the case of Doug C. versus the State of Hawaii Department of Education. It is very clear that the jury has decided to side with Doug C. Spencer will be staying in his current school. 
To the Hawaii Department of Ed, I highly suggest you review the pillars of idea before you come back to my courtroom. Case closed.